Hello, everybody. I am Toby Cat Warrior. And I am Real Evil Penguin. And together we are the Toby Cat Crew. And today we are doing something a little bit different from what we normally do. We are going showing off a map of the Clover Place. Yes. Yeah, so basically, I spent around I don't know how long it was. It felt like four hours, but I don't know how long I actually spent on it. But I I drew I drew a handmade map, and then I drew another map. And then I actually made it in a Google drawing. <laughs> and uh, she's going to have to scroll down so you can yeah, see the so full map. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys the map of Clover, basically what's out right now. So it's November 10th right now. So this video, we'll probably have to make another video with an updated map. But for now... Um, I'd say it's pretty updated. It is updated. Yeah, and it's not the best, but... It is a map. It's a map, so you kind of have an idea of where... To go, what to do, where the NPCs are. Right. Where the quests are. And general. just, like, how to get to... Like, if you're poor, like I was at the beginning of the game... You're gonna and, have to do these delivery quests. Right, you have to do these delivery quests on foot, and it's kind of hard to know where stuff is if you don't have a map. So... Uh, we're gonna get right into it. So I've actually got it right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna view. We're gonna view it at 14%, just so that you guys can have a huge overview. So basically, the game doesn't actually have a compass. No, it doesn't. In it. So how I did it was I did north is the Clover Kingdom, and I put the Diamond Kingdom south because it's a desert, and I think like desert is hot and like, the southern hemisphere is more hot. So, basically, I've got north is up here, south is down here, east over here, and west over here. And, yeah, so basically, clover is right here. Yeah, it's just a large overview made out of shape, so it's not going to be the most accurate thing in the yeah, world. Yeah, but I mean, but it's, it's, still it's pretty accurate. So we've got clover, and then we've got chestnut right here. And then down even further, we've got this weird dry sand village that no one cares about. <laughs> and then at the very bottom, we've got the Diamond Kingdom. So that's kind of the overview of this map. So it's basically, it's a huge straight line. That's, that's what it is, yeah. Yeah. So there's really, I mean, it's kind of an open world, but it's really not. It's kind, it's more, I think of it more like a maze. And, um... Basically, you just have to go down or up, depending on which way. But anyway, so we're just going to kind of zoom in and have a little bit closer look at this. So you, that's so we're going to start. That's that the key. Yes, yeah, so we're going to start over here in the Clover Kingdom. Uh, and also, I'll put in the description uh, each part that we go over. So, uh, so we're starting with Clover, obviously at the top. So I've got a key right here, kind of describing where to see it all. And you guys can like pause the video and stuff if you wanna like look at this map. But basically, I've got the entrance right here, and then, I mean, again, it's not super exact. I just kind of put squares in as buildings. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so like these are the buildings, and obviously you can see here. So you've got your quests, you've got your uh, potion seller. You're in where you spawn in and set your spawn. You've got the barber and the shop where you can buy stuff to uh, increase your level. And you've also got the flower quest over here in your Clover Castle. So, yeah, so this is basically all that's in Clover. So, again, you can pause the video whenever, but I'm just going to keep on going. So, when you scroll down, so this gray part actually represents the, like, the twisty gray path down. So that's kind of what this is. It's not really straight. Oh, also, this these black boxes are going to represent brooms, which, once uh, you have yes. enough money, they brooms, cost... They're, they're decent to travel around from Clover to, like, the Chestnut Town, which you need for a delivery quest. That's pretty much the main quest you can do right now, because it's, like, early access and all that. Uh, it's faster it's to pretty walk easy and to, cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper to walk, because it takes six uh, dollars there and back. But, so yeah, so the brooms are an option... They're right outside Clover. But anyway, so when you go out this winding path, um, you can either go... So when you're facing this direction, like coming out, facing this direction, you can either go left towards the lake... Which is Which nothing. is a complete dead end, actually, right here. There's, like, nothing. Or you can go right. Or you can go right, which is 
basically I've shown with these uh, pink dots which way you're supposed to go. So, so you wait, go right. Pink, those pink dots lead to all the towns. Where you right. So this is like towns. the main path kind of. And I've got that in this key here. So down here you go, you take a right, and then you take a left down this first one. And you'll know you're going the right way because there's a useless NPC over to the side that you'll see. And then you continue going straight and you'll run right into Chestnut Town. So Chestnut Town is actually where you turn in most of your quests, or I mean the two quests. So you've either got um, Barbara up here, where if you spawn or if you're part of the Diamond Kingdom, yeah, and you get your quest from the Diamond the Kingdom. The potion quest. Both both villages have a potion quest, and one quest gives to one person, the other quest in the village gives to the right. other person. Right. So if you get your potion quest from the Diamond Village, you're going to give it to this NPC here, Barbara. Versus if you get your potion from the Clover Kingdom, you're going to give it to this person up here. So I've represented these two. And um, again, in this town, you've got the inn where you can set your spawn. And then you've also got the potion seller, the barber. There's a rebel here where you can get quests to kill other players. And then if you go down a little bit and you go to the right, uh, if you continue straight kind of towards this wall over here, you'll run into the cave where you can actually mine uh, rare ores and then sell them at this cellar right here. Or you can continue going this way on our little purple dot and you can get to the brooms, which is another area where you'll be dropped off. If you take the brooms to the forest is the location, you'll be dropped off somewhere right here and it's an easy walk to Chestnut. Now I'm going to scroll a little bit down, and what you do is you continue going straight, and you actually have two paths to the desert. They both lead the same way. Um, because this map, I, it was limited in uh, space, because it's online, so I actually it jumps over here. So you can go through these two areas, and you'll be spit out in this desert area. So again, you can go in this tiny one or this big one. It leads to the same thing. And you basically just follow this straight, all the way to... Do you know how this town is even pronounced? Uh, Berfet. Berfet. <laughs> it's not pronounced like that, but... <laughs> Who knows? You know, who knows? Um, this town is kind of useless, but you know, it's fine. So I mean, there's a barber there, but that's yeah, about it. Yeah, that's it. Barber, like no and then quest. there's also um, this guy who is a rebel. There's also the belly of the beast, which right. is like... So these, these, these uh, like, wood things, these represent the entrances into the town. There's actually three of them in Burfett. So you can go through. If you take this exit, it's kind of hidden between these two buildings. You, It actually spits you out uh, to the belly of the beast, which is just a huge random hole in the ground. It's probably going to be an update. Also, you can't really get out because it's, like, curved in it's towards like the top. It's like that thing from Star Wars, kind of. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so um, I'd recommend not jumping down there because, you know... It's not good. It's not good for your health. Anyway, you continue through Burfet, and you go down a few uh, cliffs, which I, I didn't actually bother to show here. And you can see our, our little mascot is on here, so if you guys screenshot it, you'll always be reminded of our channel. Hooray. Hooray. So there's a bunch of like cliffs down here. You jump down, and you just go straight all the way, and it takes you to the final place on our map, which is the Diamond Kingdom. So Diamond Kingdom, you walk in, um, you've got the potion seller and the uh, potion quest right at the beginning. There's also an NPC here. I'm not exactly... I don't think he does anything, actually. Oh, by the way, if you're spawned there, I'll actually save that for later. Save yeah. that for later? Okay. Yeah, yeah we're going to do a ton of videos on like different stuff. But anyway, so as you can see from our key again, which I pasted down here so that you can see it as well, uh, we've got, this town actually has two ends, so we've got one here, and we've got one back here. We've got a barber, and a shop, and then the brooms are actually near the back yeah, of the kingdom. It pretty much has everything the Clover Kingdom has, it's right. slightly farther away from the town you need to go to and the delivery quest. And instead of, uh, instead of a flower quest, like the Clover Kingdom, and the cactus. we've got the cactus quest, which is back here. Both of them are kind of near the castle, near the back. And these lines just represent the stairs, so, just as like a heads up. But, yeah, so that's kind of our map. Um, it's, it's not super detailed, but it is No, a map. it's not super detailed, but it's a general map of how to get to the different locations. So, again, I'm just going to scroll through without stopping. Again, like, kind of slowly. Um, you guys can pause it whenever. So, 
I'll actually, I'll start from the bottom. So I'm just going to go all the way up, and you guys can pause this if you want, or screenshot it, or whatnot. But, um, like, the purple dots, or the pink dots, are basically just the, like, the main path. It connects all the villages. Right. So, in total, there are four villages. And, I mean, yeah, so I'm actually kind of proud of this map, not going to lie. <laughs> you spent so long making it. I spent last night <laughs> three hours ago. But, yeah, so that is my map, and I hope this video kind of helps you guys navigate this game a little bit. We know, so we actually did a live stream on this game, and we were super disappointed because we thought it was going to be a lot better. But um, we've been on the Discord, and we've been watching them, and they are planning on tons of updates, so... So, get ready. We've get decided ready. that Clover is not bad, and we are willing to give it a shot. Obviously, Don't sleep on this game. Yeah, so obviously, I went to all the trouble to make this awesome map for you guys. So, I kind of hope that you guys get into Clover too, because I think it has potential to be a really awesome game. But, yeah, so I hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, let us know in the comments if there's a specific video you guys want us to do. Like I said, we're going to do other videos... Uh, other tutorials on the game, and um, yeah, so I think that's going to be it from us. Please subscribe and uh, like our videos, we really appreciate it. You can join our Discord, which will be in the description. And adios. Yeah, and that's it. So thank you so much for watching.